hello everyone welcome to another video and uh, this is another video in AWS zero to hero for DevOps series all right so I want to start with AWS terminologies some basic terminologies that you should know when you start learn uh, when you start to learn AWS cloud so the first term that I want to talk about is AWS global infrastructure so by definition it is the most secure, extensive, and reliable global cloud infrastructure. Okay, the meaning of this uh, sentence is whatever physical resources that AWS has deployed across the world, okay, to create their cloud platform. So that the physical infrastructure in multiple cities, that as a whole is called AWS global infrastructure. Okay. Now within this global infrastructure, they have created something called as AWS regions. So there are multiple regions within this global infrastructure that AWS has created. The definition of a region is simply a region. So it is a, a geographical location with multiple availability zones. Okay. So region is just a geographical location. Just remember this. Okay. Just a physical location like Milan, or Paris or any other city. So in, in this way, they have multiple regions which are part of their global infrastructure. Okay. So this AWS region has multiple availability zones. Okay. Now what is the meaning of an availability zone? An availability zone is a group of one or more data centers together. Okay. Now if someone says what is a data center? So data center is actually the real physical building where the servers are kept by AWS. Okay. So to uh, show you that in their official documentation, I've, I've given you one URL that you can use to learn more about that. And I've already opened it in one of the browser windows right now. So let me take you there. So if you see here, <clears throat> So this is the page. So AWS global infrastructure is the most secure, extensive and reliable global cloud infrastructure for all your applications. Okay. Now within this global infrastructure, uh, right now we have 33 regions. Okay. And these regions have multiple availability zones. So right now we have 105 availability zones. Okay. And 33 regions. And if you just scroll a little bit further, you can see their different regions that they have. So this is the entire AWS cloud infrastructure that they have. And within this infrastructure, they have multiple regions. If you just hover on, on these dots, you will see we have Canada West, we have Oregon, we have Northern California. In India also we have, we have Hyderabad, we have Mumbai and, they, and in this way, there are multiple regions that they have. And within these regions, they have something called as availability zones. So let's come back to our slide. And let me uh, just show you the, the diagram in which they have created these resources. So this big box, you can say it's the AWS global infrastructure. And within this, you have multiple availability zones. Like in this example, I've just taken two regions, region Sydney and region Mumbai, right? And within these regions, they have something called as availability zones. Okay, so availability zone is like a small area within a region. <clears throat> okay, and within this availability zone, they have multiple data centers. And data center is the place where they keep their servers, the physical servers. Okay, and generally two data centers in an availability zone is almost, uh, I think, at least 100 kilometers apart. Okay. So this is the concept of uh, the data centers, then availability zones, then regions, and then this uh, global infrastructure. Okay. I hope this concept is clear to you. If you have any doubts, you can just put it in the comment section. Anyways. All right. <clears throat> 